Life-size moon replica, gigantic sky ring, Azizi Tiza's own project set to disrupt Dubai skyline. Azizi is planning to erect a new building in Dubai. After acquiring a plot along Sheikh Zayed Road on Wednesday, and said they are preparing to announce a project that will be an absolute game changer. First it was a tower, over 820 meters high, beaming out of a desert nation. In early 2010, six years after its construction kicked off, the iconic Burj Khalifa was inaugurated, with a dramatic fireworks display as the world's tallest skyscraper pierced through Dubai skies. Now real estate developer Azizi is planning to erect a new building in Dubai. It acquired a plot along Sheikh Zayed Road on Wednesday, and said they are preparing to announce a project that will be an absolute game-changer. While the design is currently in progress, we have already finalized decisions on several key aspects, features and a design philosophy that are truly unique, globally and that will elevate Dubai's awe-inspiring skyline to even greater heights," Marwe Azizi, the developer's founder and chairman, said in a statement. Without giving specific details, he said the new project is inspired by the vision of Dubai ruler Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, and claims it will be among the most prominent buildings in the world. We will share more information on this soon to be revolutionary landmark in due course, Azizi added. The announcement follows a host of innovative real estate concepts in Dubai revealed in recent weeks, including a gigantic sky ring by architecture firm Zanera Space and a resort featuring a life-size replica of the moon by a Canadian company. These buildings are presumably aiming to replicate the success of Imar's Burj Khalifa, which has effectively put the UAE on the map, most obviously among tourists. Azizi Development bought the land from another Dubai developer Nikhil the plot is located adjacent to the metro station in Dubai's World Trade Center, close to the iconic Museum of the Future along Sheikh Zayed Road. The development will comprise residential, hospitality, and retail spaces. Before the pandemic, the world's tallest tower recorded a visitor count of 6.19 million, making it the most visited tourist attraction in Dubai at the time. More than a skyscraper, the Imar skyscraper has now been a symbol of the UAE's ambitious goal to be regarded as one of the most innovative countries in the world. We are seeing a proportionately large number of modern, innovative developments, but this drive is coming from a long-standing desire to set new standards and raise the global benchmark, John Brash. A branding consultant Imar hired to help drive Burj Khalifa's narrative. Cities across the Arabian Gulf, including Riyadh, Doha, and Muscat, have seen rapid growth in population and economies in recent years, which Brash said local governments were able to sustain even amid a COVID-induced market downturn. Governments in the Middle East quite quickly adopted successful strategies to control and reduce the impact of COVID. And that is one of the key reasons we're seeing a relatively swift recovery, he explained. Working on that project, it was clear from the outset that it wasn't just about creating that he said it was about signposting that the world was about signposting that the world was starting to credibly move east. Showcasing a new level of human achievement and demonstrating how to maximize the value of land to deliver, at the time, the world's most expensive square meter. Brash added Saudi Arabia's The Line offers a vision of what urban planning could pushing the limits of human imagination. It doesn't mean that every city is now going to be built in this way, it's just introducing a new thread of thinking into the conversation.